Hey y'all. So here in Texas, we have a reputation for taking just about anything and wrapping it in bacon and calling it a delicacy. Uh, we'll even take Oreos and wrap them in bacon and fry them and serve them at fairs or carnivals. But I'm not wrapping Oreos today, but I did grow a bunch of jalapenos and I'm going to harvest them today and then I'll show you what I do with them that does include bacon. So let's harvest the peppers really quick and then I've got to get to work and we'll finish this when I get home. Welcome to Waterfall Cottage. I'm Cherie and that's Tommy. And today we might be gardening, remodeling, cooking, canning, or tending to our chickens. Stick around and see what we are up to today. Alrighty. I would have liked for them to be a little bigger, but they are what they are, and they are big enough. I wasn't sure what kind of crop we were gonna get this year because of the drought. But we did end up getting a decent crop. All right, well, looks like that's where all we're gonna get, which is plenty because each one will be cut in half and we'll make two. So this is plenty to take as an appetizer for Thanksgiving. Alrighty, so I have all my jalapenos. As you can see, they're about the size of my finger. You can get bigger ones, but this size is perfect for what I'm doing. I have my bacon. My cream cheese, my sour cream, my cheddar cheese, Worcestershire sauce, uh, Tony Sacheries, and did I say bacon? If I didn't say bacon, well, bacon, and my jalapenos. So let me show you what I do with them. All right, so all I'm doing is cutting my peppers in half. Let me get these out of my way. Nothing special. Just cut them in half and then scoop the insides out. I'm just scooping the insides out onto a paper plate here. And rinsing any seeds off if the seeds are just insisting on sticking. These aren't too hot. My hands aren't burning. Some jalapenos are hotter than others. And these aren't that bad. Some of the bad ones, I can't even sit here and do this without coughing. I have a little jalapeno um, seed thingy. I can't remember what you call it. But by the time I remembered that I have one, I was almost done. So just go ahead and finish getting those out. Oops, just one more. And do it with a spoon too. All right, so in the meantime, I have my cream cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle some Tony Sacheries in there. That's probably a teaspoon. Got a half cup of sour cream. Put that in there. Not 
this is actually more than the, is going to fit in those peppers. Oh, it's a cup of cheddar cheese, by the way. But I'm going to make a double batch with some jalapenos that I bought, which I will do after I'm done making this video. So anyway, just go ahead and smush everything together. Mix it all up real well. You can do it with a mixer. You can do it with your hands. You can do it with a fork. Whatever you need to do to get it all mixed up. In fact, I'm going to take my hand since that cream cheese is still not quite room temperature and I'm just going to mix it all together because I have so many other things to cook and I can't spend all night just on this one thing so get it all mixed together real good and yes my hands are clean before somebody says something washed my hands at least 50 times in the last hour all right, so I cut my bacon in half, and each pepper is going to get one half a piece of bacon. So I'm just taking my cheese, putting it inside my pepper, however you want to do it. Be as neat or as messy as you want. Wrap it with some bacon, like that, and then sit it on your pan that you're going to be baking it on. So I'm just going to go through and do all these peppers real quick. And I'll be back. I'm going to put these in a 350 degree oven and bake them until the bacon is completely cooked. We're going to say 20 to 30 minutes. I'll check on it in a little while and show you all how it's doing. There you go. All ready with some ranch dressing in a container. We'll wrap this in foil and take us take it with us tomorrow. Mm. Bacon wrapped jalapeno popper. Like that? No, um, I better eat a couple more to see <laughs> to get a better taste. You're very good. Thank you. Whatever you decide to make these jalapeno poppers for, uh, whether it's a football game or a holiday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or just you know your Friday night dinner, these go really quick. They're very popular. And whether you grow your own peppers or buy the peppers from the store, they, they always turn out great and they're super easy to make. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video.